In this table, we have a column with dates. The first row in this table is to find the sum of the population of all countries for the dates before April 1st, 2017. So if we use the sumif function equals sumif, the first parameter is the criterion range and the range tested is the date range. So we choose A2 to A15, we make this an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, which is the dates before April 1st, 2017. So to do this, we type in open quotation, less than, and we put 2017 forward slash 04 forward slash 01, close the quotation. The third parameter is the sum range, the range that needs to be summed, and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15 in this case. Close the parenthesis we got 26,639,000. Let's do a test. Everything before April 1st, 2017. This is sorted. So April 1st, we've got the same answer. In the second row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries for the dates after September 1st. We do equal sum if. Our first parameter is the criteria range, the range that is being tested, and that is the date range. So we choose A2 to A15 and make it an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, and we are asking after September 1st, 2017. So to do this, we type in quotation greater than 2017 -0901. The third parameter is the range that needs to be summed, and that is the population C2 to C15. Close parenthesis. We got 10,057,000. Let's do a quick check. Everything after September 1st. September 1st, that would be this. That matches. In the third row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries on 13th of March, 2017. So we use the SUMIF function equals SUMIF. The first parameter is the criterion range or the range that's being tested by our criteria, and that is the date range. So this is A2 to A15. We make it an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion and that is equal to March 13, 2017. So we can type that in as equal 2017 0313. The third parameter is the range that's being summed and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15. Close the parenthesis, press enter. We've got 14,308,000. Let's test this equal to sum everything on March 13th. That's these two here. We've got the same answer. In our fourth row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries not on the 13th of March 2017. So we can use the SUMIF function. We type in equal SUMIF. The first parameter is the criterion range, the range that's being tested, and that is the date range. So we type in A2 to A15. Our second parameter is the criterion and that is not equal to May 1st, 2017. So let's type in, open quotation, not equal to 2017-0501, close quotation. The third parameter is the sum range, the range that's being summed, and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15, close parenthesis. We've got 121,076,000. Let's do a quick check. Sum of everything that's not May 1st. And we got the same answer. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.